Look, I could explain why I've been so absent lately, but some of those reasons are kind of obvious and others are a little personal. I won't spend too much time on that because let's just get to making a fun video. Can we? Okay, cool. So trying to keep yourself entertained in isolation is, um, it's a bit tricky, doesn't it? I mean, we got video games, we got shows and whatnot, but you kind of get desperate when you're at it for how many months in a row now. One of the many things, <laughs> wow. And in my isolation, I have done quite a few things. Um, I've been playing a lot of great board games, might make videos on them, working on a novel, might make videos about that, watching Marble Racing, and My Little Pony. I might do a video on- I also got myself a Shutter subscription because um, I don't know if I let people know it. I don't know if I talk about it much, but I am a huge fan of horror. <laughs> oh my gosh, Netflix's horror section is- Not as bad as I thought it was when I filmed this video. Do your research before you film. <laughs> I swear there was a time when like Netflix had this publicity thing where they would say, oh, there's a scary movie on Netflix. It's giving people like not the chance to sleep because oh my gosh, it's so haunting. I don't know the name of the movie, but I know there was one or two movies they did that with. And I watched them and I thought, what? <laughs> this is nothing. So you hear about Shudder and how they're exclusively doing horror, and you know, for like, what is it, five dollars a month? At least that's the price here in Canada. You gotta give it a shot, right? Because that's at least if you find one good movie in a month, that's a pretty solid subscription piece. So I gave Shudder a try, and my goodness, <laughs> if there's some good movies there, good solid horror movie experiences. It's just, oh, yeah. I, and that's what I'm here to talk about. Um, why you should subscribe to Shudder, because I got some good horror movies to check out, and I'm gonna name a few, talk about them a little bit, and, uh, yeah. That's what this video is. Also, before we start talking about movies, and yes, I did film this on another day, thank you for noticing. Uh, I'm gonna add trigger warnings to the movies that I'm talking about to give warning about what the movie itself contains. I'm not gonna talk about those issues so much in this video. I'm gonna avoid doing that. I just feel like that's something I think is fair to do for talking about movies and uh, let people know about what they might get themselves into if they're interested in the movies I end up talking about. Yeah, okay, anyways, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about this movie first, and I'm actually gonna talk about it in a much more serious tone, for it covers a very serious topic, therefore it should be taken seriously. And that serious topic being non-con. Whenever I hear that a movie has a controversial something to it, I often think that it's just going to use that controversial something as the entire movie. The entire movie will be based around this controversial subject that it has within it. And this is prone to happen a lot in horror movies. However, in this movie's case, it does have that controversial something, but that's not the whole thing of the entire movie. It has the something, but it has a reason for being there. It pushes the story. It sends a message. It has something to say about it. Out of all the movies I am talking about in this video, I wanted to make sure I gave this one the utmost respect, for it handled a serious issue in such a mature way, while still being such an awesome and amazing horror movie experience. I was getting so flustered trying to find the right words to explain my thoughts on this movie. I just want to make sure I came across right and respectful and I'm really bad at my words. This took too many times to film. I love ad-libbing my videos, but I also hate ad-libbing my videos. <laughs> Serious note though, great job to everyone that was behind this movie. The director, writer, actors, everybody that was behind the photography, the editing, everything. You did an amazing job on this movie. Holy crap. Great work. 
Now on to the next movie. <laughs> Daniel isn't real. Holy shit, this movie was... <laughs> so before I officially got my Shutter subscription, of course I did some digging around to see what type of movies I was going to get myself into to make sure I really wanted to at least give this a shot. And yeah, they got some of the classics, like the old school slashers. And the stuff that really made the horror into the pop culture that it is. But um... <laughs> Shudder has lately been making a lot of exclusives, and this video, what I'm going to be talking about, is those exclusives, because, man, they, they are just... This one in particular that I'm going to start the video with, Daniel Isn't Real, holy shit! Okay, psychological horror is not the easiest thing to try out, because, in my experience, psychological horror just can be too predictable. It doesn't take much to figure out what the something is. In this movie, wow, it really does a good job of keeping you guessing as to what is going on exactly. There, And um, eventually you do kind of figure out what's going on, but like, the acting, great work, there's some um, trippy visuals and special effects, I'll just, whoa, and um, yeah. Online seance goes wrong. It's a very easy synopsis, but making this movie was definitely no easy feat. Because it was made in the early months during the lockdown, and wow. They did a great job. <laughs> Out of all the movies I'm talking about, this one made me scream the most because holy shit, it was freaky. They did such a great job. Job. They did such a great job building up all the tension and just all the effects they did. And the fact that this movie was made during the early stages of lockdown, how they did some of the stuff that they did in this movie, I really, really, really want to know. It's funny though because going into this movie, I had a bad feeling for it because the whole webcam movies, um, I mean, I've only watched Unfriended and that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> after that one experience, I thought, there's no way you can make this work for a f feature film. And while this movie is only an hour long, I find that that works for it because it only needed that. And <sighs> they nailed it. <laughs> they actually made, like, watching the movie from somebody's laptop seem like such a freaking scary ass experience. I, it was such a terrifying thrill ride. I loved it. Z wants to play and um don't play with him. He's actually kind of an asshole and he cheats a lot of um <laughs> out of all the movies I want to talk about this one um it's still really good but just I want to talk about it not as much at as the other three. So it's not like a tier list or anything. It's just this movie's good. I don't know. I'm giving a there's no reason- I don't have to explain <laughs> this- what? So this movie, for me anyways, was kind of a really slow and gradually steady burn, but then it really kicks itself into high gear out of nowhere, and then all of a sudden it just picks up the pace a lot and things just get really, really interesting. Like, very, very interesting. <laughs> I don't want to say too much because in doing that it'll give it away, but it just has a lot of lot of good moments that made my jaw hit the floor, I will say. And uh, uh, yeah, the acting is good, the filmography pretty impressive, honestly. And uh, yeah, though, so if you're just know that Shutter seems to be getting more and more exclusives put out there, and my gosh, they are so good. Well. Shutter's a really good thing to subscribe to because you're only paying so little a month, so if you find at least one good move, mo mo movie within that month, then you get your money out of it, honestly. And, uh, uh, yeah. And... An end to this video... Abrupt.